Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different of other videos we make, no dancing and singing involved in this one, but I'm gonna do story time today and I'm gonna tell you this crazy, kinda of scary story that happened to us before. Um, before I get started though, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Vivint and we will talk about Vivint later in the video and if you watch the entire thing, I have something really cool for you guys um, if you make it to the end, um, which I hope you do. So let's get to the story. Now, now, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but we lived in Los Angeles before we had kids. So before Savannah and Sawyer and Sutton, we lived in Los Angeles um, in our 20s, and it was crazy fun. We liked living there. We got really comfortable living there. We moved around a lot. Um, we lived in different apartments. We lived in Orange County, LA County, the Valley. Um, we lived just all over the place. Once, I could say a year, we would move um, just to go to a different area, or you know, some we would rent, some we would buy. So. It was crazy. So one of the houses that we lived in last in Los Angeles was this little ranch style house in the valley. It was cute, it was small, it was probably like 1200 square feet. It was a fixer upper that was 50 years old and we were the second owners. So we were fixing it up before all of the reality TV of fixer upper and things like that. So on the weekends, while we were, you know, working during the week, we would travel a lot on the weekends. So we would go places like Big Bear in Las Vegas and San Francisco, all up and down the coast because again, we didn't have kids yet, so we had plenty of time. Um, so we were gone a lot in the, in the, in, on the weekends. We never really told anybody um, that we would be leaving, but I guess if you, now hindsight is 2020, if people have been watching our pattern, they may know that we were gone a lot on the weekend, weekends. And so that's where the story starts. We decided to go to Vegas one weekend and we were leaving, we left on a Friday and we came back on a Sunday night, um, which was very typical for what we did. And so when we got back to the house, it was probably like 8, 8.30 at night when we got back to the house. And when we pulled into the driveway, it was just like something was off. I don't, I couldn't really tell you what it was, but something felt off. So um, we go up to the driveway and the way to get into the house, you had to like walk it into the front door. Um, the garage didn't have a door that went into the house. So we parked in the driveway and we walked to the front door. Well, immediately that's when we saw it. Um, our house had been broken into and the door was a little bit ajar. So you couldn't see it from the street and you couldn't see that um, the, the that it had been broken into or the door was open. So it wouldn't have alerted the neighbors and our neighbors weren't really watching our house anyway. Um, but they had pretty much kicked in the door. So the whole door frame was busted. The whole lock was busted. They just like kicked their way right in. So being young and dumb, we, instead of waiting outside and figuring out, you know, what was going on, we just went in. <laughs> Now I'm like, I'm looking back and I'm like, that's so crazy. Why would we do that? But we just did. So we walked in and it's, it wasn't that the place was trashed. Um, we were pretty, pretty neat people. So everything kind of has its place, but things were like messed up. They were moved. It's like people were, you know, going through things, looking for things, which it's funny because jokes on whoever did it because we didn't have a lot of expensive stuff. We didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't have any jewelry or things worth stealing. I mean, it's not like we're the Kardashians or anything and we definitely weren't then. Um, but things were like messed up and things were on the floor and um, there was a smell when we walked in the house, but you know, didn't really, you know, tr tr didn't really figure out what it was. And right as we opened the door too, there was a sound, but we thought it was, you know, outside. Again, nothing kind of clicked until we went all the way in the house. So we're in the house and we're kind of looking around, seeing what was taken. Um, there were, ultimately there were some things taken, you know, nothing of real big value. Um, but when we walked, so everything is kind of messed up. And then when we walked into the kitchen, there was like a kitchen off to the left. It was just a small kitchen. And then there was a laundry room off that and then a back door. Okay, so that's the way you get to the backyard. But when we walked into the kitchen, we figured out what the smell was, is that the people that broke into our house, I say people I don't know, maybe it was one person, maybe it was multiple people. They broke into our house and they ate our food. Like, I can't even wrap my brain around it still to this day. Like they ate our food. There were chips out and they were like, you know, like they were having snacks and everything. I was like, like, and I know it wasn't us. Like, so I was like, what? Like it, people broke into our house. So now this has me freaked out because I was like, oh my God, like 
<laughs> how long were they here? We were gone all weekend. Did they like just stay the night? Did they camp out in our house? Were they there an hour? How long were they there? It was like super creepy. And then we were trying to figure out what the smell was. Okay, so in the microwave, back then we used to eat these burritos, these like 99 cent, I don't even know how much they were. They were super cheap because we were super poor. Um, so don't judge. We were eating these gross burritos. We had a lot of them. The people had made a burrito in the microwave and that's what smelled because it was still hot. So, which means if you're following the story, the person or persons was still in the house when we pulled up and we must have scared them away and that sound we heard when we came in the front door was probably the back door and they probably left via the back door because the back door was unlocked as well um, by the time we f found that out. And that's right off the kitchen. So they literally were making a burrito after they like rummaged through our house. They stole things like some necklaces that weren't worth anything. The only thing that was worth something to me was, <laughs> it was a while ago and it was when those Juicy Couture tracksuits were in style and I loved them. And they were super expensive for my lifestyle. So like I spent a lot of money and these were like, I had, they, I think I had like three of them. I know I shouldn't have spent all that money, but I, they stole two of them. They like literally velour tracksuits. Like that's what you're stealing when you come in my house. But I guess I didn't have anything else worth value. So they stole two <laughs> Juicy Couture tracksuits, some necklaces that weren't worth anything. And then just some random other things. But the scariest part was that they were there when we pulled in and we were dumb enough to just go in the house. Now, what if they didn't run away? What if they stayed in the house? I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's really scary to think about, but um, you know, we had it all taken care of. We called the police. They, they never found them. They never figured out who it was. I don't think they really like tried that hard um, because not a lot of valuables were stolen. Um, it was just, it really freaked me out. So from that day on, we decided that we were going to get home security systems. We never had before because it was always like we would move after a year and it was, you know, took too long to set up. And I had grown up with a home security system. So it was like, I was used to it. But when we were living in LA, we we're like moving all over. So we never did. Well, from that day on, we decided we were having a home security system and we had it for every house since then, which brings me to today. And that's kind of why I was telling you that story is that um, with our new house, um, now is even more important because before I didn't have kids, it was just me and my husband. Um, and you know, it was just the two of us and we were adults, but now we have kids and we live kind of a public life online. Um, we get recognized, you know, sometimes when we go out, we get recognized at our local mall. We get, we got recognized in, you know, Niagara Falls. So we do get recognized from time to time when we're out. So that's pretty scary when you're talking about our home safety, because I want this to be like a safe and secure place, especially for my kids. I want everybody to feel safe here. So we definitely have home security. And so that is what I was gonna tell you about today is that what we chose, and I, I like to tell you about the stuff we choose for our new house, because we just moved in, but we decided to go with Vivint Home Security because some friends have it and they love it. So what we ended up getting, the Vivint Security System, we have cameras on the outside of our house, cameras on the inside of our house. I can control it all from my app, so if I'm away, um, if we're like on vacation or something, we can see live video of in and around our house. We can, um, make sure the doors are locked when we're not here. I, if I'm laying in bed and I'm like, is this security alarm on? I can make sure it's on, I can turn it on. I can even control my Nest thermostat from my Vivint app. So it's like all right there. We have this cool panel, which one thing I love about it is that <laughs> the, it, the video, we had a doorbell cam too. Um, it tells me, it shows me who's at the door. So. I don't like to like answer the door all the time. Um, just depends what kind of mood I'm in if I want to talk to somebody. So I can see who it is and kind of hide out and pretend I'm not home. <laughs> I know, horrible, right? But I can do that. And so um, th this panel can show me who's there so I can decide if I'm going to answer the door. It has video, plus it keeps track of the video so I can kind of scroll to see the backyard yesterday, the day before, any kind of motion or anything like that. Um, it's it's just fantastic. I, like I said, I love that it works from the app. We even have this great thing, which is a glass break. So if any glass would break, if somebody busted our window, it would sound off the alarm. So it really, really is a great system. We love it. It's the only reason I'm telling you about it. And so when I approached Vivint and asked them if they wanted to work with us, because we are so passionate about home security, especially since that happened in LA and now we have kids that you know, we live this public life on, on YouTube. I mean, it just is what it is. So we like to keep 
things safe in our home, we like to make sure we're safe. And so I approached Vivint and they were gracious enough to work with us. And they even gave in, this is where the bonus comes in for if you guys got this long in the story, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, they gave me a code, a promo code for you guys. If you do wanna look into Vivint, it's not gonna break the bank. I love that it's kind of budget friendly for a, it's, like so, see, home security systems can be so expensive and this one isn't. So if you wanna look into it, I'm gonna give you a link in the description below that you can check out. Plus, um, the promo for our viewers is you get a free doorbell cam. So you get a camera for your doorbell, which is my favorite feature of it. So you can see who's there. Um, you can, even when you're away, if somebody's at your door, you can talk into the doorbell cam and talk to the person at the door, um, whether you're pretending you're home or not, I don't know. Um, so if you use the code baby Gizmo that will give you a free doorbell cam. Um, I'm going to put the, like I said, the link in the description below. I don't know. I just, I thought I would share that with you. We're trying, we're having a home tour come up really shortly. Like we're almost finished. The house is almost ready to show you guys. Um, but I wanted to kind of tell you this story of why we chose our home security, why we have one. Um, there's a lot of creeps in the world and we like to stay safe in our house. I don't know what to tell you. Um, and that story, like I'm still, to that day, I, we still haven't told a lot of people that, so I, it's kind of crazy that I'm telling you guys um, because it was, it was scary. It was really scary that they were in the house and we must have spooked them when we drove in the driveway. Either way, super, super scary. Um, so if you guys don't have a home security system, um, you know what? And we lived in a safe neighborhood. We were in a safe neighborhood of LA. We were not like in the ghetto or anything. We were in a safe neighborhood. So if you guys have ever thought about home security, if you have kids, if you just want to, you know, make sure that when you're gone, when you're traveling, that the house is secure, when you're in the house, that this house is secure. We have a backyard that I want to make sure if anybody's back there that I know, cause the cameras go on. I don't know. Okay. So I've told you guys enough. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to check out Vivint, definitely go to the link below. Use the promo code, um, baby gizmo. Um, I'm, thanks so much for them sponsoring this video for me to tell you our story. Um, crazy though, right? It's like, so crazy. Um, so that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Um, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video. See you later guys. Bye.